sometimes I, I look at other people's streams and I analyze what they're doing. And it's interesting to look at somebody's Facebook stream to see where their attention lies or what they want to share, who they share, what they share. And during this time, I'm, I guess, fascinated by the amount of people that I know who see what's going on. They don't agree with it, but they're not putting up any information to say such. Their streams are clear of anything to do with the vaccine, the COVID, the, the, the testing, anything. And that to me is, is, is uh, incomprehensible. I mean, if you are alive today, you are participating in what is going on. And in a sense, you're on one side or the other, there is a defined polarity between people who believe the government narrative are gonna take the vaccine and uh, are not really thinking much about bigger picture things. And those people that don't want the vaccine know there's something very funny going on and don't wanna participate in it. Like that's the divide that's happening on the planet right now. And you have to ask yourself, look at your own Facebook stream, look at anything you're posting and what is your position? Because the it looks like most people support the vaccine and most people support the government uh, coming into our health lives in the way that they are and changing the nature of our whole society by not allowing us to come together in groups and actually have fun. And they're shutting down the businesses and they're doing something insane, in my opinion, completely freaking insane because the data doesn't support it. And uh, the people who support it are, are, are just filled with fear, filled with fear of some disease or something is going to get them and kill them. I mean, have some belief in yourself. Look what you've been through so far. Look at what happens on the planet. I mean, in many ways, it's a risky place. Anyone could catch anything or fall off a cliff or get hit by a car. And these things do happen and they happen so much more than what they're saying in the, in the actuality of what is occurring. And yet we don't shut down the economy. We don't uh, ruin the businesses that this whole you know, economy is based upon. And if you take out the entrepreneurs, if you take out the small businesses, they are the people who create the, the jobs not the multinational corporate thieves who just take as much as they can get in, in the weirdest ways. And they still think it's business as usual when the whole world is pointing to a, a new direction because if we don't, we're going to self-extinguish ourselves. You know, I mean, sometimes when you look at something and really look at it like with common sense, like what does it take to make you healthy? You know, being in the sun, drinking water, eating good food, uh, exercising, uh, having a good uh, loving life with people around you that you're connected to, that you enjoy life with. This will make you healthy. To be in a lockup, alone, listen to idiots, not being able to connect with the people that your, your, your tribe is, I mean, that is, that is a, a war against any loving human being. And that's what we're in. We're in a war. And most of you just haven't woken up to, the, to this fact yet. And uh, this is my message of the day. And I, <laughs> I hope I inspired you. I hope you, you, you really you know, got your get up and go to go out there and, and go get slaughtered. Because that's what, that's what we have to face at some point. We're not organized, uh, we're not resourced, uh, we are the people, but as I've seen in the past of most of my life and most of history, the people can't self-organize to a point of getting rid of you know, oppressive governments. I mean, if you look at the real history of the last 200 years, uh, there's something underlying everything that is never discussed that uh, most humans don't even know about. and at some point this will come out. It's not a good idea to bring it out right now because you know, there's enough bad things to think about. You 
but you don't want to compound it with seeing a reality that is, 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 is even worse than you can imagine. Anyway, the, if you look behind me, this is the one ring from Lord of the Rings. And if you've ever uh, read that book or seen the movie, you understand that this one ring is the main focal point for the whole story. And this, this one ring to me represents usury. It represents the single most dastardly idea, concept, or thing on the planet. And it is your enemy. It is my enemy. It is all our enemies. It is called usury. And you can't have that leave the focus of your attention. Because this is how they mathematically get control of everything through debt and do it in the fiendish way that is stripping the wealth from us collectively. And if we don't do something about it, just like in Lord of the Rings, Sauron is going to take over Middle Earth. And that's what we're in right now. We're in a takeover bit. And if the people don't rise up and do something about it, uh, we're toast. This is the reality of the situation. You gotta get out of your government, indoctrinated, everything's okay, I'll sit here like a sheep and do nothing, mentality that most Canadians have. And you gotta start to listen to the people who've actually put the dots together and understand what is occurring. Because if you don't, you are part of the problem. You are part of the sleeping masses that's going along with this government supposed indoctrination process into the health of our lives, saying safety and health first, and they're full of shit. You know, they're, they're literally full of shit. And if we don't start calling it, and if we don't start addressing it, we don't start rising up and speaking our truth and sharing the knowledge to such a point that the people around us really understand what's going on, at least why you may think there's a big problem here and we need to do something about it collectively. So uh, if you listen this far, thank you very much. This is uh, Captain Sweep's message of the day, and I hope you all have a wonderful time. <laughs>